It's all good. It's your main man, E Vapors, and we are back with another live man. We're doing a little update today. Um, if it's your first time to the channel, man, I want to thank you for stopping by the channel. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, all that good stuff, man. I'm your, your host, E Vapors. And this video, we're going to do an update. I got a phone call today from the BNWI team. And I, I always like to give the update, man, let everybody know what's going on instead of waiting until the end of the week, making a video and then having to do three or four updates inside the week, man. I said, hey, I just got off the phone with those guys. I'll go ahead and do an update now. Why not? Why wait? That's what I say, because you know, things could change tomorrow. Um, what's going on, uh, Silver Bag, Michael Corleone, Otto B's, my daughter Mackenzie right here hanging out, man. I said, yeah, let's go ahead and do the update now. Let the folk know what's going on. That way, if I wait till the end of the week and some things change, I may leave out some parts. I might forget some parts. Um, I just like to just go ahead and do it now. And I, I just love this live. The more lives that I've been doing, the more I've been liking it, man. Because I feel like I get a chance. I get a chance to talk to y'all, man. Y'all get a chance to talk to me, you know, versus when I'm recording a video and I edit and, and do all these different things, you know, um, I don't get a chance to do that. Hey, um, Madison, um, you see your mom's phone cord? Phone cord? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, uh, computer cord. I Not, think it might be upstairs. Yeah, go check and see and take it to her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man, but, um, I figured I would just go ahead and check in with y'all, man. See what y'all doing, man. Let everybody know what's good. Samuel Gordon, what's going on, man? I see my people in here. I was just waiting a minute or two, man. Get a couple more people in here. And I'll just go ahead and let y'all know what's going on, man. I think it's been a pretty interesting process. And if you're new to it, uh, my eye has been in the shop for 14 weeks and two days. 14 weeks and two days is, is where we are right now. So it's, it's been um, ups, downs, it's been a range of emotions, man. But at the end of the day, I've been cool, I've been calm, I've been nice, um, I've been professional the whole night. And it did spark me to purchase um, the, the 84 Monte Carlo SS that we should have in our possession in about two months. So yeah, so that, that's a good thing, man. That's a good thing. Yeah, silver bag. They owe you three car payments. Man, you know, that would be nice, man. Just give me, matter of fact, give me two back. Give me two car notes back. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a good deal. Matter of fact, subtract that amount uh, from my from my bill. Right now, the bill, uh, did you take it to her? You, you couldn't find it? Okay, you got to take this one to her then. She, she need a power cord. So, take this one. So, you might not be able to play right now. Yeah, unhook that one and take that to her. Got to unplug it from the wall. Yeah, sorry, y'all, man. You know how it is, man. We we out here vlogging, family style, and all that good stuff, man. But anyway, um, so yeah, I talked to the folk at uh, the BMW I team. They're, they're a higher level up, man. BMW I team gave me a call, and pretty much they was, you know, let me know. That you know, they followed up with the dealership, and of course, the local dealership let them know, you know, what they're doing, gave them their side of it. Um, yeah, man, smash that like button, appreciate it, smash that like button, man. Um, then of course, I had to fill him in on the complete version of, of events. You know, again, I laid out the complete version of events, and you know, the thing that really sticks out in my mind is when, when I first talked to the local dealership on the phone, they were saying that the uh, check engine light was on. And I said, no, I was recording live uh, for my YouTube channel when I drove the car on the back of the tow truck. You know, like there was no check engine light on. I drove the car up the ramp. You know, I turned the car off. There was no check engine light on when um, I dropped the car off. So I thought that was pretty interesting that the tech, you know, said that the check engine light was on. I said, okay, I see where this is going. But anyway, you know, we're at the point now, week 14, talk to the BMWI team, and long story short, man, I, I'm I'm hopefully and prayerfully optimistic that uh, they, they're going to take care of me because the big battery that was ordered for the car um, should come in tomorrow, should come in tomorrow. Good thing you recorded everything. Oh, I sure did, Silver Bag, everything. I was, I was vlogging that day. I was already recording 
that day when I came home and they had the initial electronic parking brake malfunction, you know, I was recording it. So it was, yeah, it was just perfect timing, I guess. Um, but yeah, this week they should get the big battery in tomorrow. That's the big battery that can, you know, the main power source uh, for the power of the car. Um, they should they should complete it this week. No cap, they should they should com- they should. I'm saying should they should complete the job this week. Let me read the comments. So back good thing you recorded. My calling on being able to do the right thing and give you a discount. I mean, you know, I don't even. I'm not even super pressed to buy another BMW car right now. I'm I'm still shell shocked at 14 weeks that my BMW has been in the shop. So I know I wouldn't go out and buy a BMW tomorrow. I would kick myself, you know, if I did something like that. You know, I, I got to call a timeout on buying a BMW. I got to, you know, get the car back, you know, see how I feel about the, the I-8 being back home and all that good stuff, you know, and then we'll we'll move forward from there. You know, but right now, I, I'm not even, you know, I think some good conversation would be, Okay, if the bill, let's say the, the final bill is, is going to stay at uh, $5,400. Man, I would just say, you know, take off 2000 Or cut it in half. Now, I would say waive the whole thing. You know, that would be great. Um, but at a minimum, man, hey, take that thing, take it, take it by half. Cut it in half. You know, we're going to knock off 2500 of the 54. we are going to knock off twenty four. We're gonna knock off two thousand, you know, something significant to be like, oh yeah, they really, they really made a difference, type. Because um, I have the prepaid maintenance plan, and I paid over three thousand dollars for the the maintenance plan to go with the car. I was planning on keeping the car, you know, and I know you need to do maintenance, you know, so I paid for the maintenance plan, which is all good, you know. So I don't need any free oil changes or any free car washes. Uh, I I got that. That's already paid for. You know, but you could take off something now. You could take off, you know, two twenty four. You know, you could take off something like that. Let me walk out of there with a two thousand dollar bill or less. You know, you're still getting money, but you're taking care of a customer and you're taking care of an advocate for BMW and for BMW I. I think I'm I'm a pretty big advocate, man. I'm, you know, I I made the I look good. And the I makes me look good, and we have fun together. And I, I tell people about it everywhere I go, man. I, I generate conversations, you know, about the car, and you know, answer questions about the car, man. I speak glowingly about the car, you know. So you got to take care of your customer, you know. Take care of your advocates, you know. In my opinion, I think that's what you got to do. Silverback, I definitely wouldn't be as nice as you have been all. <laughs> About all this, man. Hey, you know, that's how it goes sometimes, man. Uh, Custom Instinct, what's going on, man? And I appreciate y'all smashing that like button, man, when y'all come in here. It's greatly appreciated. Oh, and I, I give y'all an um, a update on the watch hours, too, man. Um, the, the, the E-Vapors family, y'all been going crazy with it. And, and in case y'all notice, um, YouTube has this thing called Shorts now. You know, everybody trying to cut into the TikTok space. Everybody, like everybody's trying to cut into the TikTok space from Instagram to Facebook to Twitter. Everybody got these 60 second, 30 second little video clips that they're trying to get you to watch. So YouTube is no no stranger to that. So now they have what's called YouTube shorts. So if you load a video horizontal, horizontal, vertically, you know, if you load the video and it's vertical, you know, with the black boxes on the side and it's 60 seconds or less, it's going to fall into the shorts category and you know youtube will push you know some of those shorts out um i got a friend of mine on here he's a youtuber him and his wife man they have a a dope family channel um r and a legacy and man they had a video man hit 20 million views man over 20 million views things like over 24 million views right now a 60 second video Hit over 24 million views. Listen to what I'm saying. I got to say that again because it felt different the third time. Over 24 million views. RNA Legacy. Madison, keep an eye on her for me too, okay? She coming around with, She coming around to where you at. Mommy. 
Playroom. If she go. Yeah. Um. But yeah, man, 24 million views on that short, man. So why so why not me? And what's going on, Robert King, man? Wanna say what's what's going on, Robert? Speaking to you, man. Hopefully everything's good with you, man. Hopefully everything's great with you. But 24 million views on that video. So why can't why can't my video hit 24 million views? 30 million views. Why not? Why not? But yeah, so with the I, let me, let me get back to that. With the I, man, it should be worked on this week because the promise two weeks ago was first week of December, December 2nd, the battery should be arriving. So that's tomorrow, and um, which is Wednesday. So that should give, you know, I don't know how, what their schedule is, but I, I would like to think a car that's been there for 14 weeks would have the priority. Uh, what's going on, Real New York, man? Just giving the folk an update, man. Got a call from BMWI. They they monitoring the situation at the local dealership. And um, the dealership should get the big battery in tomorrow. Yeah, man. It will. You just keep the grind up. Hey, man, I'm, I'm grinding for sure, man. I'm I'm out here trying to get it, man. And, and even with the channel, you know, y'all know since Memphis, man, things been going in the right direction, man. I got a lot of good people. That's been watching my videos, man. Watching playlists, running playlists, sharing playlists. You know, just like man, we we want to see you. We want to see you get get to the top. You know, like we believe in you, man. And that don't feel good. I ain't gonna lie, man. Because most most of you guys, you know, I've never met in person. And happy birthday, Robert's Robert's birthday. Rubik's, what's going on, man? Popping in for a second, man. I appreciate you popping in for a second because YouTube is gonna be like, there go another person in there. We're gonna count that time too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we appreciate it, man. And also tonight, if y'all get a chance, if y'all get a chance, um, I don't know how many of y'all follow um the Daily Grind Family Channel. The Daily Grind Family Channel. Um, I don't know how many of y'all follow that. Um what was somebody said? Would you take the extended warranty if they offered it as compensation? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would take the extended warranty as compensation because it would be like I'm paying for the extended warranty. If I pay fifty four hundred dollars, the extended warranty was like fifty five hundred dollars. So yeah, I, I would. I think yeah, I would. Yeah, I, I would. I would. Uh, I would take that. Um, but yeah, the Daily Grind Family Channel. You know, I think most of y'all are familiar with that. Um, my, my bro Josh out in LA. If if some of y'all was on that live or one of my videos where we were, where I was talking about, um, I'm going to be taking over the Daily Grind family channel. Josh is really strong into some entrepreneurial um, ideas that he has, so he's literally like laser locked in to this entrepreneurial venture that he's on right now. And you know, he felt in his heart. He was like, "Man, I believe that the Daily Grind family channel can grow." And I'm gonna put it in your hands, man, um, for you to for you to um, take it to the next level. So, your boy E Vapors will be loading content on the Daily Grind Family Channel as we move into 2021, and it's gonna be most of my you know business type stuff, entrepreneurial stuff, um, motivation stuff. You know what I mean? So we're gonna do it specifically on that channel, on the Daily Grind Family Channel, and on the E Vapors channel that you're on right now. You know, we're going to keep doing the vlogs. And if y'all noticed, man, I had this, the family sprinkled in on this last vlog. I don't know if y'all noticed that. You know what I mean? I, I had my spram, my spramly. I had my family sprinkled in on the vlog. You know, we did a little, little furniture shopping joint. You know what I mean? So I, I feel like, you know, the channel is me. I'm e Vapors, right? So I'm the channel. You know, it's not a car. It's not the, the I8 channel where we're all things I8. Now, if you look at the description of the channel, you know, I, I put in there who I am, what I'm all about. Um, yeah. Um, so the Daily Grind family channel, that's where I'm going to do most of the motivation stuff at most of the uh, business entrepreneur and, you know, interviewing entrepreneurs, you know, business owners and, you know, talking about different ways to make money. So that's what the Daily Grind family channel is going to be. So I, I'll be loading at least one new video a week on that channel. Um, I would love to get it to, you know, three a week, you know, but we'll start out with at least one a week. 
man auto bees and drop the link to daily grind family channel oh that's car talk tv hey auto bees if you could man drop the um the link to uh hold on do i have it right here do do i have the link to daily grind family channel let me pull it up unless somebody got it but yeah auto bees man i, I appreciate you. appreciate you appreciate you all right, let me let me look for that daily crime family. Yeah, man. Daily grind family. We right here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna send y'all the link to uh we're doing a live tonight. Copy and then let's uh paste this thing in here. Dang, New York. Hey, New York done, done beat me to it. But look, we're going live tonight. We going just a quick live. We're going live. Um, I know New York got a show tonight, but um, uh, Josh is the only time he has to go live. We're going live 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here. And we're pretty much just doing like a, a hand a handoff officially, you know, on his channel. Because, you know, most of the people on his channel, they're probably like, who is he? Vapors? Like, what in the world is going on? You know, I'm unsubscribed. I don't want to be here no more. You know, and if that's the case, man, God bless you, man. I'm I'm happy for you, man. You know, do your thing. But I, I do believe for for uh I I do know for a fact that uh, we're gonna grow that channel, man. We're gonna help people and we're gonna grow the channel. So we're gonna do an official handoff with New York said. Salutes. Oh, sorry, your video from Memphis, uh with with you, bro. Yeah, custom instinct, man. Custom instinct is in the building. Let the two guns is in the building, man. I appreciate y'all smashing that like button too, man. Definitely appreciate it. So again, y'all that's just coming up in here, we got two announcements. One, the I-8 should be getting worked on this week. I got a call from BMWI, you know, top folk, and you know they're gonna monitor the situation. And once it's ready to come home, we, we're gonna talk about some form of compensation, making it right in that list. We're gonna talk making it right. So I asked him, I said, whatever y'all say, whatever BMW say is right, that's what I'm gonna go with. Cause y'all are BMW and that's what y'all say. You know, cause whatever you tell me, that's what I repeat to the world. This is how I was taken care of. I'm not gonna add anything to it. I'm not gonna be dramatic about it. I'm just gonna, as I do every week from week one, update. Week two, update. We're at week 14, update. And, you know, I'm not going to add anything to it. So if BMW said, man, there's nothing that we can do. There's your bill. Um, pay it. You know, I'm going to pay the bill. And I'm going to come up out of there and I'm going to let the world know. Hey, here's how I was taken care of as a YouTuber, as a business person. My One of my number one tools, the I-8, you know, my vehicles on an auto channel um, has been kept way too long. You know, 14 weeks, 15 weeks, or however, however many weeks it is when I when I finally get it back. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to be honest and tell the story, you know, and even, even with compensation. And they still kept the car too long, still been too long. Even if they said, we're waiving the, the whole price. Thank you. You know, um, anybody would say 14 weeks. We're 14 now, so it's probably going to be 15 weeks, you know, at a minimum if they don't get it done by Friday. Anybody would say that that's too long to be, you know, to have somebody's car. Even with a loaner car, that loaner car is not my car. I can't drive the loaner car like I drive my car because that's the loaner car. I respect other people's cars. That is not my car right there. Right, let me read some of these comments real quick. Uh, Silver Bay, hey, Lefty, New York, L Boogie. Hey, L Boogie, what's going on, man? I see y'all in here. Robert King, what time, New York, tonight? I'm about to go live on my channel for my birthday for a few minutes. Sam, go and let me know if you need a cameraman. Sam, I do. <laughs> Sam, hey, y'all, Sam is one of my neighbors. Sam literally lives. If we both ran full speed, we would see each other in about 35 seconds. Yeah, I think if we both ran full speed out of the house, we both, we, I would meet him. We would meet in about 30 seconds, 35 seconds. I'm a little older. He a, he a full-time young dude. So, um, yeah, so about 35 seconds, I, I would meet him. But, yeah, he's right down the street, man. But, but Sam, man, look, I'm with that, bro. And I, and I ain't even talking about nothing, nothing major, bro. I'm just talking about on some holding the gimbal. You know what I'm saying? Holding the gimbal. And, you know, I edit my channel, so I could be like, hey, Sam, you know, hey, hey, you know get, get the shot from right here, you know what I'm saying? 
that type of stuff, man. Yeah, man. But yes, yeah, Sam, I, I appreciate it because I got look. I got my boy El Boogie in Tennessee, and we're gonna do some things um, for sure, for sure. But yeah, I need to build my local team up, man. That'd be dope, Sam. We can look, especially as the world becomes more and more normal. You know, even one video a week with a camera person, even if we did it out here in the neighborhood, man. You know, in the neighborhood or, or you know locally or whatever, out and about, different things that I do. Especially some of the getting some of those shots to where, um, you know, I'm driving in my car, you know, or you know, when I get my car back, you can drive the I8, and then I can do the drone footage like I want to do the drone footage, but you would be the one driving the I8. You know what I mean? Only the people in this group right now would know that that wasn't me in the I8. At certain points, it was, it, but they would they wouldn't know because there are times that it's every time that I've all the drone footage that you see with the I8 being driven in. Trust me, I had the controller in the car and or I had it on tracking. You know what I mean? I had it on tracking to where the, the, the drone was set to follow the car. You know what I mean? So that would be dope if I could just control the drone with somebody else, you know, driving. You know what I mean? I could do I can get more shots. I can get the type of shots that I want. I can zoom into the car and then keep going. But when you're driving, you need to drive. You don't even worry about no drone. So you set it and forget it. Because at the end of the day, if the drone loses touch, loses tracking, it knows how to come home. It's going to automatically come home when it reaches a certain battery level. But um, again, I, the, the, the other announcement was tonight at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Daily Grind family channel that I dropped in here. Let me drop the link again. At the Daily Grind family channel, um, 8 p.m. Again, I'm taking over the Daily Grind family channel. And I'll be doing motivation over there, business, entrepreneur type stuff on the Daily Grind family channel. Man, I'm excited about it. Because um, what was funny, when he approached me about doing it, you know, I was telling myself, man, I said, I need to make sure I niche down my channel. I need to narrow down my channel. I really love this car stuff and sprinkle in motivation and stuff like that, like I do. And that same week was when he called me and was like, Eric, you know, I want to I want you to take over the Daily Grind family channel. I'm about to go on this entrepreneur uh, venture and I want to lock all the way in and I don't want to see the channel go go to waste. So, boom. And, you know, and it's a it's a dope channel, man, on the whole entrepreneur tip. And um, I just look forward to growing it, taking it to the next level and taking, you know, my channel to the next level. Y'all know we about to be mon we might already be monetized and I don't even know. It, but we literally are 200 uh, watch hours away. And maybe 203. But who's counting? Me. Sam said, I got you, bro. Um, L Boogie, good New York. Just seeing your message. Mom tried to call me from the hospital. She almost 100 percent breathe. Hey, thank God, man. Hey, L Boogie, prayers up for mom still, man. You know what I'm saying? Family, family is everything. Family is everything, man. So prayers up for moms for sure. I think my daughter needs some drink. I think she needs some milk, y'all. Yeah, I think she needs some milk. Let's let's get the milk. Let's get the milk. Hold on, buddy. I got you right here. That's the life of having an infant, y'all. The life of having an infant. There you go. Now we now we're really vlogging, man. We're really on some family vlog right now. Oh, we really on the family vlog. I got my Barcelona on. You see my, my Barcelona? I mean, Real, I'm sorry. Yeah, Real. All right, let's take, let's take her this bottle upstairs, man. Yeah, vlogging with vapors, man. Yeah, I see you, girl. She's hungry. Let her eat now. Eat, eat. Eat, eat. There you go. Eat, eat. You going to play your music? You going to play your music for your sister? Yeah. You know she like it. Play the music for her. Play it for her. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to come get her. I'm going to have to come get her. And look, we just started trimming the tree too, y'all. Got the tree trimming. 
trying to get this tree right. We went with the uh, the pre-lit kind this year, man. Well, actually, we're going to have two trees. So we'll have this tree um, down here in, in the uh, living room. And then um, I think the other tree, we're going to put it in the middle of the house in the, the playroom window, I think. But that one is the one you got to put together. You know what I'm saying? Each individual branch. That, that one right there is pre-lit. Man, you just take it out of the box in three pieces. The bottom part, and it fans out. The middle part, it fans out. And the top part, it fans out, man. I say you all kind of time. Let me see these comments real quick, man. But yeah, 8 o'clock tonight, man. Daily Grind Family Channel. Daily Grind Family Channel. 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tonight. Um, it's not going to be a long live, man. We're just going to introduce me to the Daily Grind, Daily Grind Family Channel. And do it like that and just let everybody know who I am. You know, I'm Vapors. You know, I'm here to help. I'm here to grow, man. We're going to bring all kind of entrepreneurs on. We're going to have some dope interviews with some folk that know how to make money. And that's what we're going to do from all different lines of work. From, I mean, I got friends that own franchises. Man, I got a friend who owns a, a, a Cold Stone. Um, I got a friend who uh, they own a, a Chick-fil-A. Um, I got real estate friends, in, investing friends, um, all different lines of work, man. You know, car people, the insiders on buying cars. Um, and some of y'all in here that are entrepreneurs that do y'all thing. And, you know, so don't be surprised if I tap you on the shoulder, man, and ask you to, you know, use some of those talents on the uh, Daily Grind family channel about what you do, especially when it comes to buying anything, you know, cars, homes. Um, yeah, those type of things. People love that kind of information, man. That people need that. How to buy a car. Something that simple. There was a time when you didn't know how to buy a car. Everybody that's listening to me right now, there was a time when you didn't know how to buy a car. Then somebody told you about your credit score. Somebody told you about uh, having a mechanic look at the car. Somebody told you about warranties, extended warranties. Somebody told you about interest rates and co-signers and leasing or um, financing or paying cash, you know, do I need a down payment? All these different things. How many years should a loan be for? Four, six, seven, you know? A lot of questions out there, a lot of questions out there. And, um, you know, those are some of the things that I know I'm gonna bring to the channel. So I'm, I'm excited about that. So yeah, tonight, 8 p.m. on the Daily Grind family. And I'm gonna drop that link one more time right here. Daily Grind family channel right there. Bad Bonnie is in here. What's going on? Hey, I, I'm just scrolling down. I see my, my buddy L Boogie in here, and I see Demonology. Hold on. You said King Vapors? Hey, as soon as he's... I already got my royal white on. Let me show y'all the fit, man. Hold on. I don't think y'all saw the whole fit. Let me show y'all the whole fit, man. Royalty. We got the gold on. Bam. Straight Adidas. You feel me? And then look, we got the Barcel we got the Fly Emirates on with the Royal Crest. Royal Crest. Y'all, come on, man. Y'all thought I y'all thought I'm out here playing, man. Y'all think I'm out here playing. I'm not this, this is not a game. This is a this is a Tuesday in North Carolina, and I'm dressed in royalty. So let me go, let me go and finish the fit for y'all. Hold on, demonology. Y'all wait. Give me two seconds. That's what she said. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah. Now we in there. Let me show the royal crest. You got to show the royal crest. I like showing the royal crest part right there. Yeah, I like that royal crest right there. And some of y'all that don't realize it, um, there's a new crown. You know, this crown. And there's a second crown that was damaged coming back from Memphis. And now this heavyweight crown. Oh my goodness, straight royalty. My bro, the demonologies in here. Hey, there go Daily Grind family right there. Only legends have legends on their lives and demonology is a legend, man. I'm on the come up, man. I think I had one of the best summers, if you wanna call it summer. I had one of the best runs to me as far as YouTube, man. Like just going to LA in July was great. And then going to Memphis, um, October 30th through the 31st, it was just legendary, man. A lot of good people have been pushing me, man. 
Shane, what's going on? I said, Bad Bonnie, what's going on? Demonology, you fly. Hey, man. Look, Demonology, man. It's not a game, man. It's not a game. It's not a game, man. This Look, we going to new level. The battle crown. That's right. This crown right here, key. This crown right here. You feel me? Like It'll, it'll take you out of here. And then you know what's going to happen after I take you out of here, right? On the track. I'm going to wrap you in this coffin lining. This robe is made out of coffin lining. And Demonology know who stitched this. He already know who stitched this right here. Hand stitched. Demonology know who hand stitched this part right here. Coffin lining. Coffin lining. And man, look. Boy, I want to show y'all a picture. So, boy, I want y'all be done went back and, and um, freeze framed it and then printed the mess out because um, I had the computer rendering of the 84 Monte Carlo SS that um, I'm working with ARC Motorsports. You know what I mean? And and look, it's a scat pack eater too, Demonology. We already it's already a scat pack eater. So if you got a scat pack and below, you're going to be in trouble. And I'm talking about the one that I'm getting in two months from now. No Limit Eddie, what's going on, man? I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all got me in king mode right now. And what I tell y'all, the king don't normally talk. The king don't normally do a whole lot of talking, man. The king don't. The king don't do a whole lot of talking. The king don't do a whole lot of talking, but he doing a whole lot of talking tonight, man. But yeah, the the, the 84 Monte Carlo already a scat pack eater. It's already a scat pack eater. We're going to drip it in candy paint. Can't tell you what color, but it's, it's a color near and dear. To, to my heart, you know what I'm saying? I done gave y'all enough clues already. I done gave y'all plenty of clues. Gonna be candy paint, but it's a scat pack eater, and she's gonna be ready to run. Then I'm gonna upgrade it a little bit. And I also got the computer rendering for the car that I'm working for the track, that I'm building for the track, okay? So I got two computer renderings, one two weeks ago from ARC Motorsports, and I just got the computer rendering for the car that we're building and um, it's also a Monte Carlo. So I, I'm, I'm giving, I done spilled the beans already. We're going to have one Monte Carlo in about two months, okay? Scat pack eater. And we're building one starting in uh, March or April. That's going to be a Monte Carlo also, probably 80, I think it's 87, 87 Monte Carlo. And it's going to be ready for the track. So that means whatever you got, Hellcat, you name it. You name it. What Shirley Caesar say, you name it. Greens, beans, call, mall, you name it. You bring it to the track. You bring your car, and I'll bring you bus fare to get you back home. Get to the track, I'll get you back home. That's a promise. I will bus you back to your city. Name your city, I'll bus you back. And if you're from Hawaii, I got your plane ticket. It's on me or from Puerto Rico, or Alaska. I'll fly you back. Let me read these comments, man. They got the King uh, upset a little bit. Shane L, King Eva, was you going to be on New York tonight? Um, Yeah, I, well, after I, I after I get off the live on the Daily Grind family channel, let me drop that link again, y'all. I just dropped the link right here. Um, I'm going to be taking over the Daily Grind family channel, doing entrepreneur interviews, doing motivation, the whole nine on the Daily Grind family channel. So at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, Josh is going to introduce me to the Daily Grind family as saying, hey, here's E-Vapors. Uh, he's going to be taking over the channel, X, Y, Z. And Josh is still a part of the Daily Grind family because he started the Daily Grind family. I'm just going to take it to a whole new level. And you still going to see Josh on there too. You know, I'm going to pull him on there. You know what I'm saying? Out of that entrepreneur, hey man, I need you for a five minute speaking spot or something that people want to hear from you. But we're going to take the Daily Grind family channel to the next level. So at 8 p.m., we're going to be on for a little while. Y'all know New York going to be on all night. So when I leave the Daily Grind family um, live, then of course I'm going to go to New York live and jump on there and see what's going on and be a part of the crowd and all that good stuff, man. So yeah, man, if y'all... Uh, don't mind subscribing to the Daily Grind family channel. And I'm going to drop that link again. That's the link to the live. And you can hit the little reminder. And thank you all for smashing the like button, man. And, and, and again, I don't take anything for granted. Everybody that comes in here on these lives, man, I don't take it for granted. Like, at all. At all. At all. Period. Period. But when you, when you see somebody that's, that's 
that's doing YouTube at a, a super high level, like demonology, you know what I'm saying? You see him coming here on the live, man. Think that don't don't mean something. It means something to me. It motivates me for one. It it just it, it does something to me, man. When I see you know YouTubers, you know the big by numbers, you know, because it takes work to get to these numbers. You don't just wake up with a hundred thousand subscribers, hundred and fifty thousand subscribers. Or my guy, um, Rich Rebuilds, man, um, that did an interview with me on Car Talk TV, man. Rich has eight hundred and seventy one thousand subscribers. You feel me? I'm like, man, so when you see guys like that, or even TJ Me, that mentor, you know, he has over 100,000 subscribers and he jumped in my live um, about two months ago. And it, it's, it's motivational, man, when you see guys like that, man, jump on your live, man. It does a lot for me. You know what I'm saying? It really does. It really does, man. So salute to Demonology, man, for, uh, you know, dropping in here, you know what I'm saying, for, for a couple, two, three minutes, man. Uncle Rich is a legend. Hey, Auto Bees, Uncle Rich is a straight up legend, man. He a good dude, too, man. So, and it was cool to talk to him outside of, you know, um, outside of uh, YouTube and outside of Instagram. Uh, it, was, it was really cool to um, to talk to him on that level, too. Yeah, man. So I, I'm excited, man. Um, I know we talk 2021 all the time, but I y'all don't hear me say 2021 a whole lot because I'm getting it done in 2020. Bad Bonnie, I'll be there 8 p.m. Man, thank you, Bad Bonnie, man. I appreciate it. Again, um, this Daily Grind family um, channel, you know, they're used to Josh being, you know, the host of the channel. He created the channel. So it could be a culture shock to some people. You know what I'm saying? Literally and figuratively, if y'all catch what I'm saying. Um, yeah. So eight o'clock, man, I'm taking on a new venture, the Daily Grind family channel. And I believe in it, man. We're going to put the majority of the motivation and entrepreneur stuff there. And I can focus on the vlog type stuff on this channel right here. You know, the cause and sprinkle in the motivation and the money, man. And a little bit of King talk too. Demonology, uh, we support you because you're a good dude. Yo, man, see, man, that kind of stuff right there, man. I, I appreciate it, though. Real talk, man. I really appreciate that, man, because um, I'm out here for, for only one reason, man. And um, I always say MCM, and it don't stand for Man Crush Monday, even though I'm on a lot of lists. You know what I'm saying? Um, motivation, cause, and money, man. I want to motivate people, man. You know, if you head down, I want to give you a reason to pick your head. I want you to catch my vlog in the background when you're feeling at your lowest point, man. And and and, and it puts some pep in your step, man. It, it makes you straighten your back up. You know what I mean? You break up with your significant other and then you got some pep in your step because you know it ain't over. It's just the beginning. You know what I mean? And people need to hear those type of things, man. People need to know that it's okay to start over. It's okay to fail. People need to know that. You know, and I've had plenty of failures in my life, man. Plenty. I've had cars repossessed. The first house that I lived in, man, we, we didn't even have a bathroom in the house, man. You know what I mean? And then even when we did get an apartment, we had no furniture. We sleeping on the floor. Had holes in the shoes. Christmas coming up, right? Nothing for Christmas. You feel me? You know? And if I can make it out of that and I can share that with somebody like you, man, you might be like, well, well dang, I got, we got a bathroom in the house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We got food in the house, you know. We got a little, little, little mattress in the house. You know, we ain't sleeping on the floor. If my man Vapors, King Vapors, can be crowned out of poverty into royalty, man, I can do the same thing, man. If King Vapors can have a car repossessed, I wasn't a king then. Um, if he can have a car repossessed and now he can possess several cars, I can do it too. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. If if vapors can re can retire and not have to work a job, like I some of y'all, if you don't know, I retired August fifteenth. I, re I I walked away from a hundred thousand dollar job right here on Fort Bragg. Walked away from it. Walked away from it. We said, man, we're not putting our daughter back in school because of the world conditions. So I had to make a decision. I had to adjust my crown, adjust my role, and say, you know what? I'm gonna walk away from this hundred thousand dollar job, but I'm gonna generate income uh, with my consulting firm. And, and other things that I do. And literally, the first client that um, my company took on during the new environment of the world, because I, I had two clients before, but I lost them. They didn't need advertising when the world shifted, you know, because of what's going on in the world. Literally, as soon as I quit my job, I got a phone call from a, a multi-million dollar company locally that brought me in two days a week, Monday and Wednesday, um, to help bring their company up to a higher level. A multi-million dollar company 
hey, we need you. Been waiting on you. Been hoping you was going to start your consulting firm. We need you. Man, God, God will not let you down on everything. On every, it happened just like that. And on my investment side, there, you know, I do trading, right? Trading currency and different things like that, right? There were some things that had never happened until I quit my job. Once I quit my job, the money that I was getting on trading probably uh, quadrupled. Not probably, it did. It quadrupled. It, as soon as I quit my job, I didn't even do anything yet. I hadn't done anything yet. As soon as I quit my job, stepped out on faith, the money quadrupled from the trading, going crazy. Multi-million dollar company says, we want you to come in only two days a week now. So with me only working two days a week and the, the consultant firm, you know, doing this thing, the trading, doing this thing. I told you I walked away from a $100,000 job. I'm getting more money now than I was getting on the $100,000 job. Because think about this on a $100,000 job. You got to pay taxes, right? How much of the taxes did you get to keep? How much, how much left? Okay, 100, how much you, you get out of that? Uh, about 40%, 30-something percent tax rate. You might come home with, with 60. You might come home with 60 out of the 100. So it's not a pure 100. Is it a pure 100? No, it's not a pure 100. Man, I'm just telling y'all, man, I'm living proof that anything is possible. And I'm excited about the Daily Grind family channel. So 8 o'clock tonight, let me drop that link in here again. Boom. They go to the link right there, man. Join us tonight, Daily Grind family channel. Uh, please subscribe. Um, tell folk about it, man. And um, we're going to load videos starting out at least one video a week and at least one live a week over there. Entrepreneur, you know, making money, uh, motivation, those type of things over there. And over here, you're going to get the king. You're going to get these vapors. You're gonna, we're going to talk about these cars, man. We're going to get this Monte Carlo. We're going to do some things to it. We're going to get this i back. So, again, if you're just joining the live, um, BMW i up in New Jersey, they gave me a call about two hours ago. And they, you know, gave me an update pretty much saying, hey, you know, we heard about your situation. And we know that um, the big battery should be coming in tomorrow, this week. And that we're at 14 weeks, of course. Um, and once they finish the car, the local dealership, I'm supposed to call them back. And we're going to figure out, you know, what's, what would be the right thing to do? Okay, we're at week. Well, we already know it's going to be 14. We're at 14 now. Okay, 14 weeks your car was gone, sir. Here's how we want to compensate you. Because right now the bill is at $5,400. So do they, hey, we're going to cut the bill in half for you. We're going to waive the bill. And somebody earlier said, um, we're going to offer you a, a, an extended maintenance plan. I'm not sorry, I, I have an extended maintenance plan. We're going to offer you an extended um, warranty plan. You know, what would you, you know, what kind of conversation would I be willing to take? I'm willing to take any form of conversation. Now, if they say something corny, like we're going to take $1 off, now you're being disrespectful. You know what I mean? But again, if they said that, Hey, we'll just document that too. Hey, I went up there. They told me they're going to just take off $1. Have a good day. Get your IA on out of here. I don't think they would say that. Robert King, I'm going to jump on my live in a second. Got a few minutes. Just seeing Zay TRD live too. Watching everyone's literally saving my life every day, man. Robert King, we love you, man. Smoke Todd, I'm in there. L Boogie, Bad Bonnie, what's good? Bad Bonnie, what's up, L Boogie? I don't know if she sounds like that or not. Oh. Shane L, you should do some videos on trading to teach some of us. Yeah, I, it's going to have to be on the um, Daily Grind family channel. I can't do it on this channel. You know what I mean? Um, YouTube is about niche, and I agree. You know, if people come to a channel, you want to try to compartmentalize as much stuff as you can, niche it down. Um, but on my Instagram, it's been plenty of times on my lives that I that I talk about trading, and um, I answer people's questions, but... um. It would really be more of an introduction. You really couldn't teach somebody how to trade on a, on a few lives or whatever. You because it's it's really we teach a class. My my nephew's company, three sixty five trading group dot com. So we teach a class. You know, of course, it's a paid class, obviously. You know, um, but yeah. But I, I hear that. I hear that though, Shane. Uh, no limit. Fifty four hundred plus three months of payments. Hmm, I like it. No limit edit. They doing the full. I work for BMW at that point. If they said we're gonna pay the full 5400 and we're gonna give you three months, call notes back. 
man, y'all rolled out the royal treatment, no pun intended, for the king. Autobees, we can't wait to see the I-8 content. Autobees, man, I got so much I-8 content in my phone, you know, obviously, you know, before I drop the car off, man, I, I go through my phone all the time, man, I be like, man, I miss my car, man. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know, periodically I'll, I'll post a picture or a video, you know what I'm saying, of the I-8, you know, when I had it, obviously. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting it back and doing some content. I would love to do some content with the I-8 and the Monte Carlo, you know, together. You know, we'll see how that go. We'll, we'll see how it go. Unless some, unless some monkey wrenches come. If some monkey wrenches come, you guys will know because I'm going to vlog it and I'm going to keep it 1,000 with y'all, man. I'm never going to... Um, y'all in the clickbait or uh or cap there's no cap no clickbait like my man rubik's three always say man now yes we want the thumbnail to be appealing if any of y'all people that know about youtube we want the thumbnail to be appealing but you're not going to see a thumbnail from me i sold my i you're not going to see a, a thumbnail that says i sold my i and then you watch the video and we get down to the end and then I, I, I drive the I-8 back home. I didn't sell it. You feel me? You're never going to see that. You're never going to see that, man. You're never going to see that. But I do want to make the most interesting uh, thumbnails that I can because that's good YouTube work ethic. Uh, Rube is going back and forth between you and Zay. Zay, man, tell Zay TRD I said what up, man. Tell Zay I said what up. Yeah, man. Um, let me see. And thank you all for smashing the like button, man, L Boogie. He got my got the emoji with the crown on, got the king in there, 100, man. Hey, we all in the royal court, L Boogie. We all in the royal court, all of us, man. We all kings and queens, man. That's what I love. It's, and it's a, it's a reminder. It's a reminder. Yeah, this is a robe. This is a crown. But some of y'all that was in Memphis, man, my brother told me this. He was like, man, only you can wear a crown and a robe and not look like a fool. <laughs> he said, you the only one. And that's a compliment. What do you mean by that? He said, you got the confidence, man, to do that. You know what I mean? You got the confidence to do that. And it's not arrogance. It's confidence, man. It's like, you know what? I believe in myself, man. And yeah, I lost plenty of races that day. I was in an I-8 all-wheel drive car going up against Hellcat, going up against a Lamborghini, a Ventador SVJ twice, going up against Scat Pass, going up against a Shaker one time going up against a mean Cadillac was at CTSV, I think. I probably messed it all up. But yeah, but I got me some wins though. I beat a Hellcat manual one time. I beat a Scat Pack uh, two times. Shout out to my, my, my brother TK's garage, man. Good dude, man. But um, his car was experiencing some problems out there on the track, man, a couple times. But um, I had a, it was a fun event though, man. Memphis was fun. And um, I just got to meet a lot of YouTubers. I got to introduce myself to a lot of YouTubers, man. And I really got to show um, a side of me that I really wasn't showing a lot on my vlogs, man. Because a lot of my vlogs, man, were, were kind of, you know, straight laced. And I, I feel like I'm, I feel like uh, David Banner right now. I was just on some, on some King, you know, with the Hulk. I feel like I'm kind of bringing it back down. So let me, let me, let me come on back down to David Banner or the Bruce Banner. I think it's Bruce Banner, right? Let me come on back down to Bruce Banner, man, in my in my regular Bruce Banner clothes, which is still kind of royal with the, with the royal crest and everything with the crown on. Y'all see that royal crest and crown? Car got caught. What's going on, man? Hey, my folk out west up in here, man. You got famous people in here. Car got caught. What's going on? Got the folk out west up in here. I said, Ruby said he's back. Daily grind. Uh, we appreciate the love, DGF, Rubens. Uh, Zay said, what's up? <laughs> Thank you, Zay. Doggone. Zay multitasking, too. Zay sending messages back. Thank you, Rubens, man. I appreciate you, man. And I'm just going to really make sure that I'm super transparent, man, on this channel. Again, I was holding back my personality on this channel, just, just trying to give you guys something super clear, something super crispy, you know, something that I felt like was, you know, pattern, pattern or model after some other YouTubers that I that I seen. And yeah, that's good. But it's like, hold on. You, you got a little bit, you got a little bit more. You have a little bit more to offer, man. You know, you like to joke around, you like to cut up, you like to act fool, you know, you like to have fun. So I, I think it's only right that you do that. And even 
And I, I'm usually the type of guy that go ahead and do something and then tell you. But I felt like the YouTubing world, I said, you know what, man, I need to tell folk what I'm thinking about, tell folk what I'm you know, looking forward to doing. And I told y'all about buying the car in Chicago. And as soon as I told y'all, it fell through. And then y'all fault. But that was what I was trying to avoid. And I was like, well, Eric, as a YouTuber, man, what makes you, th why, why would you want people to think that everything always go through? Why, why would you want people to think that everything worked every time? Why would you want people to think that you don't never get down and discouraged because a deal fell through? Accurate. And while I was on live, y'all probably tired of me telling this story. While I was on live, man, I got the call from ARC Motorsports, man. Hey, hey, we got an 84 Monte Carlo, man. Uh, we can have it ready for you in, in, in two months. And you get to pick the, the color of the paint on the car. And some other, you know, details on the car. So it's going to be custom, you know, to an extent on the outside. And then it'll still give me some room to, you know, fashion the inside how I want to fashion it. And she already scat pack it already. You feel me? It might be a little more than that, but I might not tell you. I might cap y'all on that. What's under the hood? What's under the hood? Cap. Rubik, Bruce Banner, for sure. Car got caught. I wanted to go to Memphis and meet up with you. Couldn't get the time off. Man, yo, car car got caught, man. That'd have been dope, man. I done seen you a million times, man, on um uh Jeremy's channel. And um, I be feeling like I know know people. You know, certain YouTubers, I feel like I know them. Like if I watch a channel and then I say characters, because I look at YouTube like TV. I don't watch like TV shows. YouTube is my TV show. So when I say characters are introduced, I'm not slighting anybody. I'm just saying like the main character is the YouTuber. And then his family and friends and places he go or she go, characters are introduced. So um, I've seen Car Got Caught a million times, man, um, on YouTube. And it would have been crazy if I would have um, had a chance to meet you, bro. And that day is coming, man, because I'm, I'm going back out west again. And I said when I go back out west, I want to um, not only go to L.A., I also want to you know, take a trip to Vegas and meet the YouTubers in that in that Vegas area, man. Because I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Fast Gatto is, um, I don't know if it, he's in Vegas, but in that area, right? Somebody correct me if I'm not mistaken. Is Fast Gatto um, in Arizona, right? Near, like, Jeremy and all of that? And near Car Guy? Let me, um, Lefty, what's up, fam? Cat Locos Garage, what's going on, family? My deal fell through, too. But I bounced back better than before. See, Cat Loco, man, thank you, man. Yeah, cause I, I was, I was, uh, that thing bothered me, man. You know when the deal fell through, and I, I felt like I was letting people down. I think that was more than like me. I'm, I'm okay. I've been disappointed before, but I felt like I was letting people down because I said I was going to do something, and people was excited for me with me, and then I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? I did everything on my end, but on the other end, it didn't happen. And I was like, man, I don't even want to tell these folk it fell through. But I said, nah, I'm going to go live. I'm going to tell the folk it fell through. And about, shoot, I don't know, 30 minutes in to that live, I got the phone call, man, from ARC Motorsports. Hey, we got a car for you, man. That's the craziest, one, one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me, man. So God is good. Zay in here. What's up, Eve Vapors? I ain't know you was, was live. Ruben sent me, bro. Hey, Zay, man, I appreciate you, brother. Um, I, I got a call from BMW I and I wanted to do a quick update instead of waiting to the end of the week and then I forget or things change. And literally the big battery for my car should be in. They should be working on it this week and they should. I don't even want to say they should finish it this week. Um, by next week, they should finish it because the missing piece is the big battery. So you get the big battery in and this week go by and next week starts. It, we should get the car next week. Should we should all of us? This is our car at this point. We should get the car next week, and we should find out from BNWI what compensation is appropriate for having somebody's car 15 weeks next week or 14 weeks this week. What compensation is uh appropriate? Um, car got caught, everything works the way it's supposed to. Not always how we think it's going to. Hey, man, you said a mouthful. You said a mouthful right there. Your boy Tizzle. What's going on, man? Appreciate you. Silverback. Hey, Zay. Ought to be salute here. Lefty. 
Car got caught. Me too, bro. I feel like we are already friends. Yeah, man. And, and it's and again, there are a lot of YouTubers that I that I that I watch, and I can't watch everybody's thirty minute video on everybody's channel. I can't. You know what I'm saying? I do um, play a lot of y'all in the background, and at a minimum, I comment. I watch about two or three minutes, and I'll drop a comment. You know what I mean? If I can't watch it. And then sometimes I'm listening, so I do miss some stuff because I'm listening to it. You know, as I'm working on, as I'm editing my video, I'm listening to YouTube's video, so I'm not watching it, but I'm listening. And it's and it's still a handful of. Uh, so I really don't watch, you know, the two million the two million um, subscriber YouTube channels. To be honest, you know, I'm watching. You know, I think the biggest ones are like Demonology, Real to Real, uh, Stunner Reese. You know, those that's that's in that hundred something, seventy five. Um, I think Stunner got like fifty. Um, I, I I just recently got tapped into um, CJ on Thirty Twos, um, but I again I just recently got tapped into him. But I really spend my time with the Catfish Corners of the world. You know, the Fly by G Money's, the New Yorks, the Zay TRDs, and I'm, I'm, let me stop naming names. The Rubik's of the world, you know, those are really the, the channels that I watch where I will generally finish the whole uh, episode. You know what I mean? Those are the ones that need the watch hours, you know, and those are the people that are in this chat. So, like, I talk to y'all, Car Guy Court. See, I talk to y'all, man. So it's like, I want to see what y'all are doing. And I want y'all to, you know, to see what I'm doing. But at a minimum, we all. Got stuff that we're doing. We got families and stuff, man. So I, I don't think any YouTuber would get offended if a fellow YouTuber wasn't able to watch every video, every minute. You know what I mean? But I know how to run a playlist, though. Bloop. I know how to get my laptop and hit play on a playlist. I know how to do that and let the thing. And, I, and matter of fact, I'm in my dining room right here. This, this my this is one of my um work. You know, with my company um laptops. And man, I. Play them joints right there, and I have a um a iMac. I'm pointing like you can see it. Um, well, I can show it to you. We vlogging. We vlogging, baby. We vlogging. Move that on the floor. So I got my iMac right here. So I I have the iMac going with with, with some folk channels, and then you know I have the um Apple TV, and I'm I'll be logged in to my Car Talk TV um account, which my my friend Car Show Rail made. So I had the Car Talk TV logged in on this channel, um, watching, you know, somebody's channel. That's where I usually watch y'all YouTubers at. I'm sitting right here um, on this chair right here. And if y'all watch my last vlog, if y'all watch my last vlog, man, uh, we went uh, furniture shopping. We went furniture shopping. And that was uh, pretty interesting. I hadn't shopped for furniture. I think we bought this furniture here. Um, 2007. We built a house in 2006. That the old house, 2006. I think we we didn't have furniture for like the year. Uh, a year we had uh, no living room furniture. Again, you get it how you get it. No living room furniture for like a year. We had an old bedroom set upstairs that we had since the late 90s. You know what I mean? But we was happy to have our first house. And then when we built this house, um, you know, of course we moved all our stuff over here. We didn't buy anything new for this house, even though it's a new house. We brought the same furniture. Now that we have two kids and uh, one is 19 months old, one is seven, um, you know, we like to do little family movies and stuff. And this stuff right here is, this is fancy, like um, formal living room furniture where you just sit on it barely and have conversations barely. You don't even want to breathe too much on this kind of furniture. So it's not comfortable. My little daughter be jumping around. This is hard wood. So we're uh, going to buy a, a comfortable set you know, like some of y'all folk got, you know, like probably some of the demonology got in all his rooms, all that money they got over there. You know, I'm counting people's money. You know, so we're going to do that. Nice living room furniture out here, man. But um, yeah, that's where I, I watch y'all YouTubers at, man, when I'm sitting on my little, my chair right here. So it's about to get more comfortable. And we're back in the dining room. Let me move the king's robe out the way. Move the king's robe out the way. Sit that right over there. Let me read these comments, man. But um, I, I definitely appreciate y'all. Real talk. Custom instinct. See y'all tonight. For sure. Shane L. Zay showing your live while. What? Zay showing your live while talking. Oh, man. Hey, Zay, you a real one, boy. I ain't never seen that before, man. Dang, Zay. You all right with me, brother. 
Auto B, salute Zay. Shane L, yeah, man, Zay killing it. Rubis, Rubis everywhere. Rubis, Rubis Cube, it was like, Rubis Cube is everywhere tonight, man. Shane L, Zay promoting your live. I am loving the support. Man, I love this kind of stuff, man. God knows, man, I love this kind of stuff. Man, but y'all got to see this video that Zay did, a reaction video on my channel, on, where he's watching a video on your channel, and he's kind of like talking about what's going on in the video and different things like that. So, man, when he did that video, man, it was just so dope to see myself on somebody else's channel. You know, I almost felt like, oh, man, I feel like a you know big YouTuber, man. I feel like I feel like we're we making, we making strides, man. We're we getting somewhere. But I'll say the difference about me, and again, I don't know these big YouTubers. You know, I'm talking about like, you know, the gigantic YouTubers and all that stuff, man. Um, I'm as real as they come. When I tell you I'm going to be E-Vapors, King Vapors, King Vapes, with a million subscribers, just like I am right now, with 1,964 subscribers. No, 1,966 subscribers, y'all. So that's where we at. Update. Uh, E-Vapors family, we are at 1,900, let me check, 1,966 subscribers. Yeah, let's make sure that that's accurate, man. Dang, Zay killing the game, man. Doggone Zay. Zay multitasking like a mother, man. He on live now, but he promoting somebody else's channel. Come on, man. Y'all y'all tell me, man. People just built different, bro. People just built different these days, man. I, I, I can't even lie about that, man. People, people just built different. That's the kind of support that's crazy, man. And Rubik's going back and forth. You know what I mean? Yeah, so we're at 1,966 subscribers. And our watch hours, da, 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 um, at least on this screen, uh, 3,792. So we're literally um, 200 you know, hours away. But when you go to the, the analytics page, so I'm on the analytics page now, and I hit 365, last 365, it says that we're at 4,300 watch hours. Now, I do know that, you know, they have the definition of, you know, qualifying watch hours, if y'all are familiar with that. Um, so it's saying that I'm 300 hours over 4,000. But on this screen, it's saying that I'm at 3,792 watch hours. But um, matter of fact, let me read y'all that little, the little thing. I just clicked where it says, you know, what are the... Um, what counts as official watch hours? I was trying to get to it. Where is it? YouTube guidelines. Okay. I know I clicked the last time it came right up, man. So sorry about that. There we go. Partner program. What does valid watch hours mean? Not all watch hours count toward your YouTube partner program threshold. Now, what does count? Watch hours gained from videos you set to public. What watch hours don't count? Private videos, unlisted videos, deleted videos, um, ad campaigns. So if you you know purchase and you know Google ad Google. AdSense, you can do ads, you know, on YouTube. You can do, well, I guess it wouldn't count if it's a uh, Instagram ad because that has nothing to do with YouTube. But if it's if you purchase a YouTube ad and let's say it got a million um, watch hours, um, they wouldn't count because it was an ad. I mean, at the end of the day, you probably got subscribers from it, so I don't think that's a bad idea um, to do ads. Because you can set them up for the non-skippable ads. Y'all know how you got like that 10 second non or five second non-skippable ads. So you can do ads. It just don't count for your watch time. But I think it's a good thing. If you had an event that you was promoting, why not do a non-skippable ad? Let's say the event was going to be in Memphis and you do a regional ad. People that's into autos in Memphis vicinity, you do an ad on YouTube and they'll see it. Something to think about. Um, watch hours. Uh, yeah, videos played from stories and short videos shelf. Now, I, I mentioned this earlier, man, about the short videos. 
Um, I guess so you don't get those watch hours. They don't count if it came from the shelf. But if they came and found your short video, not through the shelf, then those watch hours would count. Some of y'all are probably like, what in the world are you talking about? Yeah, look into that, though. It's real. All right, let me um, read these comments, man. I ain't going to hold y'all, man, because I'm going to um, close this thing out and get ready for the 8 o'clock jump. Yeah, Daily Grind family said Arizona. Um, Rubik's. We and Zay live listening to you. What? That's crazy. Hey, Zay. Expert view. What's going on, man? Big Chief. I got premium. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Zay TRD. I'm back. Still multitasking. Watching yours and Rubik's. Oh, man. Premium. Oh, Rubik's got a premium on? Man, see, I, I'm going to have to get caught up. Man, I, I'm going to have to get off this live, man. We got too much work going on tonight. I got to let, I gotta let y'all, y'all folk do y'all thing. We all coming over after this video. All right. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to close this video right here, man. I've given y'all the update. The I-8 should be ready next week. Should be. And we'll find out what kind of conversation BMW is going to do. Okay? Does the premium help y'all? I don't know, um, Big Chief, if you have a premium account and you don't get ads, the watch, you're still watching it, so the watch time still counts. But um, if you don't get ads, then you wouldn't get any ad revenue. Um, but you watching it, you still that's, that still counts. That still count. So yeah, the um the I should be back next week. We'll find out what kind of conversation BMW is gonna do. All right. Um tonight, 8 p.m. Daily Grind Family Channel. Um, I'm gonna be taking over the Daily Grind Family Channel. They go to the link. So 8 p.m. You can set your timer. Not gonna be a long live, man. Probably about 15, 20, 30 minutes at the most. Um, just to introduce me to the Daily Grind Family Channel. Entrepreneur talk, money talk, motivation talk is gonna be there. All right. And um the Monte Carlo, I'm going to get the Monte Carlo two weeks from now, two months from now. The 84 Monte Carlo should be here. And in March, April, we're going to start building a, a separate Monte Carlo with SS Life. It's going to be ready for the track. So that's all I got, man. Uh, Daily Grind, see y'all at Daily Grind Family Channel. Um, no Limit Edit, YouTube Premium ads, few cents, but not much. Okay, thank you, Eddie, for that info. I didn't know. Big Chief. Well, that's kind of lame. It is, man. But it's all good, man, because there are millions of subscribers that are on the way. Y'all listen to me. Y'all, when I get my 100,000 plaque, when I get my 100,000 plaque, we got, we're going to have to give away at least a couple thousand dollars, you know what I'm saying, to y'all, to, to, to the folk that's in that first group. Not to the 100,000. I mean, we appreciate y'all coming on board, man. We're doing a special giveaway from the get-go giveaway. Ooh, y'all like how that came off the dome. From the get-go giveaway. We're going to do a from the get-go giveaway, and we're going to give away a couple thousand dollars. You know what I mean? You know, maybe a 500 piece, a 500 piece, a 250, a 250, something. You know, break it down so not just one person can, can get it. You know, definitely somebody going to win a thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and say that. We're going to do it like this. Thousand dollar giveaway, 100,000 subscribers, thousand dollar giveaway. 250, 250, 250, 250 to four people. Write it down. You just heard it here first. So that's $2,000 we're going to give away. $1,000 to one person, 250, 250, 250, 250 to four other people from the from the get go or from the gate. So, y'all, so y'all folk that's in here right now, the folk that's been rocking with me from the gate, you know what I mean? Come on. Just for y'all, man. Hey, I got to go. Love y'all, man. I'm about to head over to Zay if Zay's still streaming, man. Y'all know what we do around here, Shemaine Manny Vegas. We swipe up.